we found an excellent position. There was a stone building on our right. We were covered from view and from fire from the right. You could hardly see us for this hedge. There were nine panthers out about a thousand yards or so, side on. I had taken one last look out, out of the turret because I'm still having trouble with the, the mist and rain and whatnot. And a tiger tank came around the corner of the building, saw the position, thought, that's a great position. And they pulled in to stop right in front of us. It was just the scariest damned apparition I've ever seen. Just loomed up like that. We were almost touching the water. So I had an AP up to this boat. I fired that and hit him. It just bounced off. And after that, we just fired a high explosive as fast as we could. How about that fast? I was literally just holding the firing button down. The gun was firing, recoiling, running out, firing, recoiling, running out. And my loader operator was fleeing the shells in. And then he fired back. The Tiger weighs 57 tons, almost twice as much as a Sherman. It has 100 millimeters of frontal armor, making it almost impregnable. It carries an 88 millimeter gun that can destroy a Sherman more than two kilometers away. And this Tiger is practically on top of Lawrence's tank. There are no words that can convey the incredible violence of that strike. The AP shell that hit our turret, it looked as if someone had taken a, a torch and just burned the channel front to back. I said, you know, drive in reverse, hard right. And our co-driver was driving, and he wasn't a very good driver. And he went to go into reverse. He revved up the engine. The real driver grabbed the hand throttles, and then he just grabbed the gear shift lever and rammed it into reverse, and he yelled into the face of the co-driver, let out that clutch and get the hell out of here. And so we went shooting back. The Sherbrooke Fusiliers lose half their tanks and are forced to retreat. Other units suffer similar losses and pull back. Operation Goodwood 